Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Department of Revenue, where a frauditor going by the name of Robert West attempts to film the transactions of other people and ends up getting trespassed from the building. And uh, you know what? He gets all butthurt about it, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Department of Revenue, where a frauditor going by the name of Robert West attempts to film the transactions of other people and ends up getting trespassed from the building. And uh, you know what? He gets all butthurt about it, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That's much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. And of course, this sorry SOB sees the sign, but he totally ignores it. Who wants to protect the confidentiality and information of every customer in the place? Certainly not this freaking frauditor. So let's carry on, shall we? Yeah, I am audio and video recording. I said I am audio and video recording. Right. Just says last time. This is coming down from above. Uh-huh. You're here to conduct business, even if you're doing your business, it can't be recorded. It has to be so, recorded, you know that. For you, I'm sure it has to be recorded, but I'm just saying, like, if you do, I do, I have to call OSP. I literally have, there's, my hands are tied on that. Right. Like, it's not up to me, I'm just doing okay. what they were telling me, and that's literally what I'm instructed to do. So. Well, if I'm doing business with the state. I understand, I'm assuming. You know, we're in business, but I'm, I'm, I'm used to, we have uh, very specific instructions, not just in signs for you to read, but coming from above, I am telling you what they are telling you, uh -huh. the people that manage this building, right? and they have permission to remove you from the building, and at this point, I believe you were specifically told if you did this again, you would be arrested for trespassing, so I'm just giving you a warning, mm -hmm. verbal warning. Please don't. Please don't do this. I mean, I understand it's your thing, but it's not my. Th it's not just my business. thing. It's my right, and it's, I have a right to. I have a right are, to be able to prove that I turn stuff rights. in. But that doesn't exactly give you the right to go film other people's confidential information, dumbass, because in here in a few moments you will be going over there and putting your camera in an area where you can probably see other customers' personal information, you jackass. So that pretty much destroys your whole argument right there. There's also privileges and things like that. You gotta understand the difference. Uh -huh. This is a secure area. This specific area, uh -huh. that's why it's worded like that. We have authorized areas for badge access, and we have secured areas. Uh -huh. The public are allowed to go in there, but they have to follow specific rules, which in this uh -huh. case is no photos are available. So you're saying that I can't video record in this area? Yes, please do not. Okay. Well. And you're not even doing business right now. Sir, are you filming? Yeah. Why? Because I want to. Not well, that was a bright move, smooth brain. So let's go ahead and skip to the point where the cops show up and trespass this jackass. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, 
he wants to do so that. I don't know if you could hear all that, but um, hmm. so a couple of uh, consequences of the choice you made today. So the first one is that you are going to be trespassed from the building and hopefully remove on you know your own cooperation. Mm -hmm. uh, the trespass for today is again for 24 hours for reporting business transactions or uh, taking an attempt, making an attempt to try to report the business area where that's not allowed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to finish transacting your official business before you leave today, we'll permit you to do that before you're asked to remove yourself from the building. But in mm -hmm. order to do that, you need to disable the camera before you go back into the... Oh, but you can't do this to a member of the press. You can't trespass pass them off the property because they wanted to film somebody else's confidential information. That's against the Tenth Amendment, isn't it? Or is it the 25th Thousandth Amendment or something like that? I don't know. I mean, these frauditors just make shit up all the time business area of the building before you leave this area and go over there where customers could have an expectation of being able to transact financial business without you making copies of their, their private information. Okay, there's no one back there, so why can't I just go back there like because this? Because in that area where that type of business is transacted and where the cashiers are and where their computers are and where private information is likely to be or be displayed out in the office or on the desk, Recording is not allowed in that area. Oh, yeah, that makes logical sense right there, especially in this day and age of people uh, uh, stealing uh, identities and personal information. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, except to a frauditor who just wants to, uh, well, steal people's personal information and give it to other people. I mean, that's essentially what he tried to do right there. He tried to uh, put stick his camera over there, get somebody's personal information, and post it on the internet for all to see. So that way, it would make it so much easier for his criminal scumbag friends to steal people's information and identification and everything like that. And that's exactly why you're getting... Trespass, jackass. You can't record it from this side of the tape. You can't record it from that side of the tape. That area is not to be recorded. So if you want to transact your business, we can turn the camera off or leave it out here with us. And then we can go in there and transact your business. And then you're going to leave the building uh, and uh, experience a 24-hour trespass. And then the next time you come and visit, if we can comply with that expectation to not record in that area, uh, then I don't anticipate that we'll have issues like this in the future. Well, I'm sure we will. I mean, I'm going to file another tort claim. You know that as well as I do. Oh, gee, another threat of a phony baloney lawsuit. Oh, gee, whatever will this officer do? Yeah, I'm sure the officer is so concerned about your uh, frivolous lawsuits that will never happen. I can't <laughs> take my, like, day-to-day -day, uh, actions and, I know. Like, transact police business mm -hmm. based on whether or not you're going to file a tort claim. Like, right. To me, that is, that's a complete non-issue. That, that, it's not for me to consider right. on the side of the road. But my job is to conduct business in a way mm -hmm. that's lawful mm -hmm. and to carry out the uh, public interest uh, in you know, the state's business and being able to protect the customers that come here to mm -hmm. transact their business and to be able to assist the building manager in well, executing the removal order that they're uh, putting together, but uh, whether or not you're making a tort claim is really of no consequence to me. Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn my camera off, Okay. but I'm going to do it under duress because I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Cause there's no way for me to prove that I turned anything in. Sure. Okay. You ever hear of a receipt, dumbass? Everywhere you go, every time you make a transaction with money, well, most of the time anyway, a receipt is given for the records for every party. Unless, um, unless I video recorded, um, number two, there's two troopers and a sergeant that are here. Um, I, I, I respect your rank, so that's why I said sergeant instead of trooper. Okay. Um, I appreciate that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to go in, turn this in. Sure. And then once I turn this in, then once I leave that restricted area, I'm going to turn the camera back on and I'll leave the building. I have no problem with that. And if you want to turn that back on before we continue to talk, that's totally fine. 
Uh, and as far as the business processes go, I'm not involved in their business process, but I strongly suspect if you were to ask the cashier for some type of receipt that you turned a document in, they'd probably provide you something. I'm going to ask them that they file it and make me a copy of it. Sure. That, if so. you're, you're, I have no reason that you're not allowed to do that. Okay. Okay. Yep. And. You see, dumbass? The officer offered you a solution to this, which was in the form of go ask them for a freaking receipt. I mean, that's all you had to do. You didn't have to act like a complete jackass to go over there and put your camera above the uh, barrier to film other people's transactions. Uh, no, didn't have to happen that way. Why'd you do it? I, I don't know. Just because you're a freaking moron. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?